Hey guys, welcome back to The Buzz. I'm Tierra Bree and you're watching the community segment. Today I'm with Alan Verlander of the Jack Sports Council. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. It's Players Week. Look, I was there yesterday. That's right. <laughs> How is TPC going so far? Have you been yet? Seems to be going well. You know, we've got people coming in from all over the world. So, um, you know, it's truly a global event for this community. And, and um, Jared Rice and the whole PGA Tour are just doing an outstanding job of putting on a first class event that in my opinion, is the best golf tournament in the world. Definitely so, and it brings so much traffic to Jacksonville, foot traffic and cars. It does. The collisions I've it's seen. It's great for business, <laughs> exactly. which is our topic today, so exactly. there you go. So with the Jack Sports Council, you all bring sport events to Jacksonville. Tell me a little about that. Yeah, our goal is to, to bring professional, uh, amateur, collegiate, whatever events that uh, truly bring a big business factor to our, our city. Mm -hmm. That's what we're charged with. So whether it's the Tax Slayer Bowl that, that is played in December, mm -hmm. Um, whether it's uh, Navy Notre Dame, we just uh, announced NCAA March Madness is coming back in 2019. So mm -hmm. we look for those areas that can really draw a big business sector, big TV mm -hmm. uh, sector as well, and um, bring great publicity for our community. And those really do. How did the Jack Sports Council kind of come about to bring these big name events to Jacksonville? Well, if you, if you look at communities and cities around the country that are doing sports in a big way, mm -hmm. uh, they all run it from a private sector. In partnership with the city so that's what we formed here about three years ago and if you look at our success um, it's really been a, a, a compliment of the mayor mm -hmm. of um, our private sports council and everybody working together the Jaguars uh, to say this is important for our community and um, you look at a lot of the events that have been brought here uh, we've been had a big hand in definitely so and speaking of the Jaguars that stadium and all the additions <laughs> they're putting next to it and around it how do you think that's going to impact some of the events you bring here that's going to be big for us uh, Mark Lamping and Chad Khan at the Jaguars have just done an outstanding job in working really in have. partnership with the mayor mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're excited it's not only going to enhance our uh, bowl game mm -hmm. it'll enhance Florida Georgia other yes. neutral site football games that we bring here, stuff that we do at the arena and the baseball grounds, it'll enhance that whole downtown atmosphere. And you've got, um, you know, now a, a lot of with intuition building up. You're going to have that whole corridor that is, for someone that's in special events, that's the part that we've been missing. Yes. We have great facilities, but we don't have the fan stuff. And so that's now beginning to percolate a little I bit. I agree 100% with that. We needed all of this to kind of come together <laughs> yes, at we one do. time, one place, and that will definitely bring those crowds up. And speaking of bringing so many people and foot traffic to Jacksonville, do you definitely see a, a you know increase in the economy when the, the sports events do come? You do, and, and people think economic impact heads and beds. That's what everybody says. Uh, and they say, well, the, only the hotels and, and retailers are, are winning in this. But, mm -hmm. but people got to understand those people are living in our community. Yeah. So the more money that they can make, the more they're spending with all the different other sectors in our community. Yeah. So it trickles down to everybody. But you bring in like a bowl game, it, it's a huge economic impact at a time, especially when nobody's in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And so you want to look for those dead times, or those slower times. That's when we're looking for events, not when it's already full. Yeah. You want to look at the slower times. So that, that's what we've been able to do and, and doing it from a private privately funded organization has been a big help. And when all those people come from out of town, they always ask, oh, where's there to go out tonight or where's there to eat? You can you can kind of push them to other areas besides just downtown Jacksonville. So it could help our oh, yeah. whole economy. Yeah, yeah for sure. You look at Atlantic Beach, yes. you look at Jacksonville <laughs> Beach, you look at the town center, downtown, of, of course. But it's really spread out even to St. Augustine and Amelia Island. You talk to them at, at Florida, Georgia or Tax Slayer Bowl or Navy Notre Dame mm -hmm. or some of these big events. It's all it's spread out all over. So yeah. the the economic boom that is created by a big event like this, not to mention people are watching it all over the country on national TV. So there's some dualities to that that I think um, you know are going to only aid our our city to, uh, to be a part of the vision of the mayor and those others. Sports is a big part of that uh, opportunity for our city. It really is, and Jacksonville is a big sports town because of all our our sports team here. And the fact that you all bring even more is so amazing and so fun. And it brings a lot of people here to the community. Yeah, thankfully we are a sports town, so it really helps our uh, our business. But we're excited to see what the future brings. Definitely. Well, Alan, if people do want more information or they just want to contact you, seeing what events you are bringing to town, to, to, excuse me, to town, how can they contact you? Yeah, go to jacksports, J-A-X-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com. 
Um, you can find all the information. We are a membership organization, mm -hmm. so you can join. You can be a part of it. It's not just through the events, but okay. we do member events all throughout the year. We probably uh, do you know 30 to 40 member events a year. So uh, there's all different ways to get involved with what we're doing. Instead of just buying a ticket to the events we bring, mm -hmm. um, come be a part of it all year long. So jacksports.com um, is our website, and you can find all the information there. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. And thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time at The Buzz.